Congratulations, Mark. You're in round two. Yeah, it's nice hearing that, actually. Uh, steady performance all day. Started well. Started very well. Uh, didn't miss much in that first session. Limited him to half chances and sort of the damage was done there, being 7-2 up. and Didn't fall over the line, but it was a bit scrappier tonight. You know, it did make a break in one of the frames, but a bit scrappier in general and just happy to win. But on paper, 10-2 looks great. Absolutely, and it's nice to conserve some energy. You know, the, even the few matches I've won here in recent years, in the early rounds would be sort of 10-8, 10-7 in their grueling matches. And to win 10-2, a bit to spare, and just have an early night, and a few days off now, just plenty of practice. And it's nice to be on that side of it for a change. And how is your form? I've had no form, if I'm honest. Uh, since the Champion of Champions win in November, I've had a very, very poor season. Uh, lost early in the UK Championships, first round of the Masters. And haven't really went deep in any tournaments. And it's it's been tough. It's been tough because I feel like I've been putting the work in on the practice table. I've been practicing really hard, working on the right things, and just nothing really has clicked so far. But it'd be a nice time for it to click. Are you hoping this place might spark you? I hope so. I hope so. I, lo I love I love playing here, and uh, it's great to have some sort of crowd back. And you know, if I can get through a few more rounds, that crowd will grow. And you know, that's why we play the game. You want to play in the best arenas in front of big crowds. Mark Selby or Kurt Mafflin next? Going to be very tough regardless. I know they played a cracking game here a few years ago. We're marking through 10-9 and I expect it to be close again. Uh, Kurt's been somewhere on my radar that's going to be breaking into the top 16 soon. I think he's got that type of play in, in his locker. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if Mark obviously does a number on him. He's a crucible specialist. He's a three-time world champion. Going to be very tough regardless, but no, I'm in round two, so it's a pleasant surprise already. And finally, a word on Barry Hearn stepping down as world snooker chairman. Yeah, I didn't see it coming. Didn't have a clue that that was in the pipeline, and uh, he'd be sadly missed uh, because he's transformed snooker since he took over in 2011. Uh, it was dark times, no six or seven tournaments in a year. Now we've got maybe 25 once we get back to normal. No, obviously after COVID, uh, get China events back, Saudi Arabia back, and all these you no know, top 32, top 16, top eight tournaments that he's added to the calendar. They're big, big events and. Uh, testament to Barry and his team. You know, he's he's a workaholic. Even at 73, I'm sure he probably won't stop working behind the scenes. And yeah, he's been a breath of fresh air. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.